What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension quick tip for you. So in this video we're going to talk about the extension Extrude Tools from TIG and uh, one of the functions in particular that allows you to extrude edges into faces. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is kind of a quick video but I want to do more on Extrude Tools um, because I haven't really done a whole lot with those and I really should because it's a really powerful extension. And a lot of you may remember that's an extension from TIG that allows you to basically create a whole bunch of different kinds of extrusions using edges. So as a basic rule, um, when you need to extrude using edges, extrude tools is a good tool. When you need to extrude using faces, joint push pull from Fredo 6 is a good tool. So what I want to do in this case is I want to focus on uh, one of the tools that allows you to extrude edges by vector. And so basically what that means is that allows you to take an edge like this one and extrude it into a shape. And I guess I should probably note that um, sometimes extrude tools, like with version 2017, for example, this didn't work super well. It's working pretty good with uh, SketchUp Pro 2018, but there have been some issues with that. Um, just, just so that you're aware, um, your version may have some issues with the faces that are created. But in any case, I do want to talk about just a little bit of what this is capable of. There's some other tools I want to talk about in the future too, but this one in particular, I just wanted to talk about real quick. And so what you can do with this is there's a lot of different things that you can do once you can extrude edges by vector. So like for example, if I make a copy of these five arcs along this face, okay, so that's six, but in any case, so if I make a copy of these arcs along this face, I could then extrude these up or down to create different looks. So you can see how I could use this to generate almost like a tent look or something like that. But once you have the ability to extrude these edges, um, you can do a lot of different things. In this case, I'm going to say no, I don't want to reverse these. I will say we'll explode the created group. That'll just create this as a part of the uh, um, that'll just create this as individual geometry that we can work with. But now, once you have the ability to do this, you can create all sorts of fun things. So I could take these edges and kind of extrude these out and uh, I could explode those or not. In this case, I'm gonna say yes again. And then you could do some fun things like playing around with the scale tool or stuff like that to create different kinds of things. So in addition to being able to create shapes like this, you could also tie this together in order to create curved faces. So like for example, if I tied a series of arcs together like this, and then selected those and then used extrude edges by vector. You can see how I can make this into a face um, using that tool as well. And then if you really wanted to get creative, you could probably come in here and do some stuff with like your hidden geometry. So if you wanted to select different edges with your hidden geometry, you could do that. And then you could extrude those out as well. So really any series of edges you can use those to then generate faces. So that's where TIG's extrude tools are really powerful. So again, we didn't create anything crazy with this. I more wanted to remind everyone that this function is there because it's easy to forget because there's so many different tools out there. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're using? Can you think of some cool ideas for how to use this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.